whatever it is, you want to bring it up and you want to set it up facing out towards the audience this way, okay? Then I need Blue Rebels to sit in the chair for the White Tories. Go ahead and move into their seats. And Redcoats are going to sit behind this black line in front of them to watch the battle scene, okay? So go ahead and move down front, Redcoats. Here we go. Okay, let me get um, Denise. Is that right? Janice. 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 I said it right the first time. Well, I didn't say it right again. I'm sorry. I'll work on it. Janice, come on over. And, um, how's that? I need that other name in person. Oh, Trent. How do you say it? Trenty. Trenty. Trenty Janice. Come, Jancis. Jancis. Rhymes with Kansas. <laughs> I've got it. So I want you to hold the white pole and then train T. That's just the letter T. That's easy. Come here, hold this. This is called the Bedford flag. Everyone say Bedford. Bedford. This was used in the earliest battles, like the one at Lexington and Concord that we're going to watch right now. That's an interesting language on it, which is Latin. Latin is a dead language that we no longer use anymore, but um, Latin translated into English, those words say conquer or die. The Americans believed God was on their side, helping them fight for freedom. So the Bedford flag shows the arm of God coming out of the clouds with a sword saying conquer or die, use an early battle. So you're earning points for the 